Uh, uh, let me ask you, like, uh, right now, like Megan the Stallion, she's hot, right? And she's from Houston. But in my opinion, I feel like, you know, she abandoned the city to go over to Hollywood and, you know, run behind Rock Nation, whatever. But I feel like if she was like uh, home, like, you know, if Houston was still home and or whatever, and, or she ain't fall out with homeboy and them and, and she ain't disrespect Jay Prince that she would have the torch right now that will give y'all the torch back. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like, she ain't bringing up no artists from Houston right now. She not really collaborating with none of the, the vets from Houston right now. And she got the, she got the torch. She, she even got the, the torch for the female rappers alone. You know right. what I'm saying? So she got the opportunity to bring the city up and she's wasting her, the spotlight that she got right now on being, by, you know, running behind Beyonce and, um, you know, it's, and to me, it's like, look, all right, you got the song Beyonce. She ain't do the video with you. She ain't perform with you at the, the BET Awards. You know what I'm saying? You abandon your people. You get over, you go out here in Hollywood, you get shot. You know what I'm saying? I don't think if she was still rocking with Carl and he got Prince behind him in the dark that a nigga would even think about shooting her. Not saying that everybody's scared of this nigga, but a nigga ain't going to shoot her thinking, yo, she got some big brothers. Only reason a nigga would shoot her or even pull a gun or even slap her is because they know she ain't got no protection. You know what I'm saying? The loudest nigga would even think about slapping a nigga if she got a, a, a live wire brother. You get what I'm saying? Right. So I, I look at that, that situation and I'm like, I feel like she 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 borderline pulled the groupie move and ran over there because of the star power when she could have been a big fish in a small pond back at home than to be out there in Hollywood with everybody. And she got it's so much knowledge with, with you, with Chameleon there, with Jay Prince, with Paul Wall, with and on the independent level. Like, you got all these brains, these niggas and niggas done touch the major labels too. Like, she, she could have been a monster back home, brother. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, I just say that to say that I feel like she got the torch for the city right now, and she, she ain't with the city. Well, you know, it all this got their own path. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's more like the way I feel like some people I grow their hometown. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to you know, you got to goddamn go spread your wings. You know, it's different circumstances. Like, I know people on both sides. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with Carl. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know Megan like that, but I respect what she do for H-Town. You feel me? And I, I salute anybody from H-Town and, yeah. and work that shit out. You know what I'm saying? But the way I look at it, I look at it like everybody got their own path. You know what I'm saying? And you only can do so much in your hometown. And, you know, everybody... You know, they idolize who they idolize. And, and, and the way I feel about it, like, picture this. Like, B didn't do the video or nothing like that, but put it like this. Snoop Dogg, he did the Game Over remix for me. I ain't ask him to do the video or nothing like that, but I, I ain't going to feel no way that he didn't do the video. Sometimes it's like nigga just got to be grateful for what he got because nigga yeah. ain't have to do that. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. like, I look at somebody and be like, hey, you gave me a steak, but you ain't give me no potatoes and dessert. Like, nigga, you got to be thankful for the steak. So, but as far as the torch, I mean, she she got it for each time, whether she in, she moved to Hong Kong or L.A., she she got it. And if she choose to bring somebody up, that's fine. But if she don't, at the end of the day, self-preservation, the first law of nature, and she came in this bitch as a solo act, nigga, and hey, 
It is what it is. So whatever she do, I just I hope her and Carl get that shit together and, and put out some music and you know put out the albums, fulfill a contract, man. And people can go their separate ways or whatever, man. Finish the business and, and do your thing. Put on for H time. That's how I look at it, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've learned to stay out of people's business and shit like that. But I pray and hope they work that shit out. And shit, get to the bag, man. That's it. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, when 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 you when you when you're a public figure and you do public business, it, it, it's public shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I stay out of people's business, but I ain't in the business. I'm just saying from a perspective of an independent nigga, you know what I'm saying? If you got all this knowledge around you, yeah, everybody, Peter moved the, Cali, the Calabasas, but look what he did for New Orleans. You get what I'm saying? All his videos, all his shit was where? New Orleans. But he wasn't living there until he moved back in and, to, and, and got the little compound and everything. But the thing is, you ain't got it. It ain't where, you know, where you at is where you from. But I'm saying capitalize off the moment because the moment comes and go. And the one first time you do something wrong or that they don't agree with, you clip like Nikki. You get what I'm saying? So the, the, the difference between a lot of people is. You you got you got the mindset of, of a worker and you got the mindset of a boss. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, sis, get the mindset of a boss. You got a lot of niggas around you and you got a lot of talent right there. You can build yourself up in the career and then it's over. You know what I'm saying? Or you could build yourself up and be little Wayne and go get Nikki, go get Drake. You get what I'm saying? And then when your when your your flame is out, look what the fuck Drake is still doing. You get what I'm saying? Look how long Nicky run was, and Wayne fell back. You know what I'm saying? It, it, he's still doing his music, and you got a lot of people out here that don't want to put people in position like that because they scared that the other artists might get bigger than them. Oh yeah, it, it's definitely a lot of people out there. They don't want to put nobody on. And then you got people that just, they focus on them and they've been through a lot. And a lot of people get to their breaking point. And like, just, you know, sometimes we don't see everything people do, whether it's charity or whether right. it's people. Right. You know? It's just kind of like, hey, sometimes people get to that breaking point. Like, look, man, I didn't hear 100 motherfuckers and only one of them here. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm tunnel vision. But, you know, that's the difference between people like us. No matter the situation we're in, we're going to figure out something to do. You know what I'm saying? We know how to adjust our price. We know how to speak for ourselves. We know it's a time to be a wolf and it's a time to be a sheep, man. And that's why I take pride in collaborating with a lot of these newer artists. Like as an OG, I ain't one of the motherfuckers that sit back and be like, ah, look at all the youngsters. They all using auto-tune and ain't talking about nothing. Nah, it's some youngsters that's using auto-tune that's actually talking about some shit. Right. That punchlines you know so you know i i work with the youth i talk to them i don't talk at them you know what i'm saying i collaborate with them i, I you know what i'm saying give them game and then they fuck my head up sometimes and be like man man i know your freestyle like i interviewed peso peso the other day man latino rapper mexican man and um he was just like man bro i grew up jimmy your freestyles my uncles put me so it's just crazy that the same way I got put on A by MJG and UGK and Sade and Kenny G and you know what I mean, Pac and Biggie and Big L, like by older people, some of these people, these these youngsters, teenagers and 21, 22, whatever, they know who the fuck I am. And they might not know me for my biggest record. They know me for a freestyle I did on the DJ Screw documentary, man. So, yeah. you know, I think it's it's dope that we use our platform, you know what I mean, to not only do shit for people our age and older, but 